Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino on PC using the brand new Blue Stacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to start we need to open our favorite browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue. Going to this URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you can see on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, simply because I added the clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up on this page on our own site of Usitility, where we have a precise information on the best way to download and install Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino on laptop or computer. We search lower a tad and then click on the download game on PC button. After we click on that link, we get to the site of Bluestacks which the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of running the emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. The step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download step takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It's a file to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. Ok, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We said yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installation software better. The installation software is pretty simple. It is made up of a couple of options. Install, and setup path. I am going to describe what setup path truly does. We simply just simply click on it. And so we discover that we display here the path where in fact the emulator will be installed. If we would like to vary this folder we are required to click on that, browse, option, and therefore we opt for another directory and install the emulator where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it as it is. I simply click on back. Therefore I pick install. Fantastic. The install commences and it is going to continue with the download of those MB that happens to be visible on our computer screen. As you save it on your machine, it could be more or less megabytes. The download rate could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your type of access to the web and according to the speed of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are running really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started successfully. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will advance to the right and when it attains the finish, the emulator is started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator is already started, there for the first time. Before we keep going, as you understand, it created a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the only one we're concerned about. Each time we need to operate Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino on our PC, we twice click this specific software icon and consequently run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me make the next phase, which is actually a must, and that is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented. In this case we are required to sign in. Currently the moment we're on this page, we are required to do the following step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. Therefore mouse click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It might once in a while get stuck in, checking info, and it doesn't advance. In this case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it will most likely be solved. At present we shall type our username and password. 
The email needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. As an example you make use of the very same email you use right now in your YouTube account. So that I am going to type in my info and I'll go back immediately after I have done it. Voila! Information typed. Discover Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We should say yes to them all by just clicking, I agree. Then, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it checked and it'll build a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you can utilize this feature if you want. We just click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started without need to open it manually and completely on its own. To install the game, we must browse the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on the app icon designated green colored. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator for Android, we see that we have right here the install application option. We click or double-click on this button. On this page we access to the Android game. Let's click on here on the install option that I am just presenting now in green color. This action will initiate the software setup. Straight away it will install the game app. It can take a bit of time or perhaps it may possibly be very quick. It again all relies on our internet connection. This has as of now ended setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the following option that I am highlighting in green, so that you can start Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino for the very first time. You are at present on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to click on that brand new Baba Wild Slots Vegas Casino software icon which was provided. Your Android game is started for the first time on your computer. Currently there we have it. I could press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the sound level of that emulator. It is here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we will turn on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is simply the very first one. We mouse click on this icon that I'm designating in green color. Thus the display screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. If ever we aspire to launch the application in full screen, we hit this particular game icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the video game in full screen setting. To quit the complete screen functionality, just click the F11 key and we might just play in normal screen mode. At this point, I am ready to clarify you the computer keys mapping which is quite enjoyable. That step we definitely will be ready to make use of the game application much more easily. The first task is to click this application icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to complete the recommended adjustments. I am going to keep the standard settings, though if you intend to improve that, you may very well achieve it without any problem. Obviously, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Once in a while it happens that the emulator is started in the improper language, such as, in Mandarin. And so to set it up in the appropriate language we go there to the cogwheel. And thus right here throughout many other configurations, we click on the, language, drop down. We may select the language we need, German, Mandarin, and so forth. After the language is determined, we should save, the emulator would restart, and also the game app, Next time we start it, will of course be in the specified language. Presently, you will find another point that we have to take into account, and it is that we will receive a message from Google Mail telling you that a different electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will definitely question us if we are the ones who have associated with that device. That's right, we ought not get worried, considering the fact that emulator is behaving like an Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to identify which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we arrive here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Be sure you browse here to the, model, selection. And now we discover that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my video user demo. I believe you liked it, particularly that everyone thought it was interesting. If that is so, bring it a nice thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your comments, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below. You could possibly also leave comments on my Twitch channel. I do live streams ever so often, you get it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Check out any of those video tutorials which are usually showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the future online videos. Bye.